Hello everybody, um, happy Star Wars Day. Um, yes, I'm doing a voiceover because I recorded this and um, it all fucked up. So, it's Saturday the 4th of May, I recorded this around about midday and it's time for today in my bujo. Um, oh god, I'm so, so cross. I just, I don't know what happened, it just screwed up. There was nothing on um, Friday either because I've recorded the morning section but then um, I didn't do an evening one because I originally planned to go out and that didn't happen. My daughter came over and, and, and we had a few drinks and watched Superman so um, yeah I was going through it and I thought well I'll, I'll actually I could just record this as if I've done it anyway so yeah. Uh, here I am doing in my steps and they, look at that 19,277 steps I'm so proud of myself <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm actually recording myself doing the voiceover and I'm gonna superimpose that on top of the little image of me up in the corner that I recorded when I did this bit down it it will all come together in the genius that, that, it, that is me um, this was me going on about me trying to keep my head out of focus. So, um, if it is in focus, uh, in focus, keeping my head out of the shot. Um, I zoomed in a little bit here, as you can see. This is me talking about me getting it in the, and trying to keep this part of me out of the shot. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, hopefully, my head will now stay out of the way. Um, it's really, really hard to not lean right over the <laughs> right over the book it's it's actually really really hard not to do so um yeah i'm just filling it in this is friday's steps with the the correct color as you can see um yeah and I'm, I'm, I'm obviously gabbling a little bit more about something or other here <laughs> i do that a lot uh, this is my chore tracker. Um, I did fill up the dishwasher and I did the worktops, but I did not sweep the floor because, like I said, by the time my daughter left, I was I was quite quite happy by that point. <laughs> um, so yeah, I ticked off that we cleaned the windows. I put the bath mat down. Uh, my son went to an appointment. I set up the races. Did got all of that done yesterday. I felt very uh, very good about everything. So, as you can see here, I did not fill in Friday. The colour I used for the three was Odyssey. I'm just going to go and find the gelato there to triple check. Yes, it was Odyssey from the Iridescent pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, we're just changing the pen to Saturday. And then I will quickly go through everything as per normal. So we'll do the weather, um, I still don't know yet what the results are because the stupid thing is I had to um, I had to vote on it to be able to see what the scores were and I haven't actually checked, last time I did check they were about 50-50 so I will go back and check and I will discount my vote if they are still 50-50 and then the other one wins which was last time I checked, no colouring at all so if you guys want colour on this, you, I think the choices are watercolour, keep on with the crayons, or no colour whatsoever. So you guys let me know what you think I should uh, I should do regarding the weather. I mean it looks quite cool with no colour, but it also looks cool with colour, doesn't it? You know, I thought, thought it looked quite nice. But I could always go in at the end of the month if, if we get to the end of the month and you think, mm, actually, do you know what, Sam, that looks a bit shit now that it's all done. Um, you know, let's colour it all in. We can do that too, that's that's not a problem. So, uh, I'm, I can't remember why I'm showing you my bad face bear. This is my bad taste bear. Um, he's a little stoner. <laughs> and, uh, I, ca I can't remember why I'm showing that to you. I really, really can't. At all. My mind is a blank. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, it's just drawing some pretty clouds and... It's uh, quite cloudy, but I'm looking out the window now and I can see lots, lots, lots and lots of blue sky. So we just add in the sun, make that look good.
Oh, there's me head again, look. Fuck's sake. I'm trying so hard not to get my head in the shot and I don't manage it. It's just, just ridiculous. That's me just recording the sun up and the sun down times, which I can't actually remember now. Uh, 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 8.29 is when it down came, went down and it came up at 5 something or other. It was early. I was asleep. High of 12 and a low of 5. We've got a cold snap coming here in the UK, which I'm really not looking forward to. Um, we had such lovely weather last week, but there you go. Through to today's tracker, I have put my day face cream on. <coughs> I look, I'm looking at myself in the camera, I look awfully blotchy, I'm just, my psoriasis is giving me crap, but there we go. Now I'm looking for my little bit of spare paper, because the Tomaway holds the ink for a while before it actually sort of soaks in or dries, um, I'm a bit worried about, you know, blotting as I turn the page. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now, I'm obviously gabbling on about something, but I can't remember. This is why I get so annoyed when it doesn't, for whatever reason, record the sound. Because it's like, well, I can't remember what I said. <laughs> That's why I record it, so I don't have to remember what I said. These people that do these voiceovers amaze me. So, anyway, I decided that I was going to um, pull a card from the Everyday Witch Chat Tarot. Ugh. Pardon my words, the everyday witch tarot. I look awfully worried. Oh, you can't see it because I'm overlaying it, but I'm I'm re-watching the footage as I'm going through it, and I look really worried for some reason. I don't, I don't have the faintest idea why. And I'm gabbling away about something. <laughs> oh, this is why I don't do it this way, because this annoys me because I talk too much at the camera. But um yeah, Daryl and the stairs behind me. Oh, actually, what I'm doing now, and, and you can't see it, was I, I could see that I had a fluffy bit sticking out. See, I'll show you on this on this one. Look, I've got a fluffy bit sticking out. I did maintenance last night, and I totally flipping missed a great load of it. Look, how ridiculous is that? No mind, eh? I'll just I'll just swipe it down like that. There you go. I look gorgeous, kid. <laughs> it's, uh, it just never works. My hair's getting wiry, out. more wiry as I get older. Mm. I'll get there eventually. Anyway, here we go. Shuffled, spread, and I love that one. We like that one. Hi. Oh, hi, YouTube. Say hi. Hi. The Ten of Pentacles is about spending time with your family, um, the richness that your family give you, everything is good, you know, um, it, it's going on about how good your family, they feed your soul, your family, most families, you might have to kind of time, it doesn't feed your soul, in which case it's the family you choose, not the family you were given. Um, I've written in here family time, relish time at home with your family, it's what makes your heart and then I put a smiley face. See, there it is. There's my smiley face. And I'm moving a bit of paper, go on to the next bit. I'd already filled this bit out before I started recording. Um, it was the same as uh, Thursday, just the same levels of pain and mood. Uh, I'm just filling in my steps with my snazzy gold pen. And then we will move across and do my sleep. I think I slept from something like midnight until eight o'clock. Um, I had about an hour in the night where I was awake. Um, 
like I said, my psoriasis is a bit crazy at the moment, so yeah. And I'm trying so, so hard here not to lean into the shot of the main screen. <laughs> so, move me a bit of paper. Next page. Back to the good old tracker. As I said, I was happy I did everything there. Um, done the loon. I've checked the laundry. Uh, and um, over here on the left, my monthly chores, I have actually done a couple of those as well. I had done the inside of the windows and I cleaned the bath mats. Yay! So I was quite pleased about that. Let me read my paper again. And there you can see I ticked them off for the daily part. And my son is at a job interview today, um, which is what I've just ticked off there. And I booked my eye appointment. So, you know, fingers crossed, guys, that my son gets this job because he really, really wants a job. Now I penciled in Fridays and um, I thought what I'll do is I'll do the whole kit and caboodle in one go. So I'm just grabbing out a dauber here, this is Blue Moon um, and, and the fourth, of course, you know, that's no moon, that's a space station. And if you don't get that reference, then you obviously have never seen Star Wars in your life and you should be shot. Um, right. So it goes down quite nice, but I, the little um, middle section there moved ever so slightly, so it looked a little bit splooge Um You guys can't really see it on the video, but I could. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm always tired whenever I... I'm always bloody tired. I yawn all the time. But, right, I'm just going to grab some paints out. Oh no, I'll get my wipe out, I said, to clean the, uh, clean the stencil off. Okay. I was checking the pen because I realised I hadn't filled in the day for Thursday and Friday and I wanted to do it. And the, the pen just didn't look right because everything looked so much lighter on the tom away. So, um, I finally worked out what pen, <laughs> what pen I needed. And um, yeah, filled in Thursday and Friday on the um, journal pages. And I only just one letter and chicken there with the Thursdays. So I was quite pleased about that. And then I moved it around and realised I hadn't put my bit of paper in and that the bloody four had splooged over onto the three, which I was a bit annoyed about, but hey, there we go. There we go, just writing in Friday. That's it. Just put my pens away. Now, I um, saw this video from this chap whose name I just cannot now remember. Um, something Burke and he showed me this layout well not me you know to personally show it to me but he showed YouTube this layout of some photos he did of a journal um, from when he went to Japan and um, it looked really 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 good so I thought I would steal the idea so I get my sprocket out this this is the layout. It's sort of like a hexagonal layout, and you can do seven photos per layout. It's in pick stitch. And what I wanted to do was try. I'd I'd done two, and I wanted to try and sort of combine them, but I couldn't overlay them because the white from there's me flicking through, completely forgetting that they're up and fancy. The white from one overlaid the other one, which I was like ah, and I just I could just could not figure out a way to put them all together so I made the second layout and then you drag them into place like so confuse me a bit because as you drag them they move them to sort of the end of the thing and I had I'd ended up putting two of the same in one so 
And then as I was trying to move them, they kept trying to change, swap places with each other, which it took me about three or four goes to get this right. I was like, stay still! Stop moving! Just centre on the damn things! <laughs> this is a, you have to do like little itty bitty movements. So there you go. And then I saved it. Um, this is a layout that you have to pay for. Um, you get a certain amount of layouts free and then you pay 99p and you get all the rest of the layouts. And I figured for 99p, it was a bit of a giggle, so why not, you know? And then I sat here for ages trying to think, well, how can I click them together so that I've got 14 little hexagonal pictures instead of just the seven? So that they would all go together like one massive great honeycomb. And I could, and I sat here for ages trying to figure it out because every time I clicked another photo, it overlaid the other one. And I was like, oh my god, so why Pickstitch didn't do it that it just did the border all the way around the original seven and then left it like that instead of it being a square thing? And I couldn't crop it down, I couldn't, you know, I didn't have a picture that would do it. So then I stopped the video and said I'll be back later. And what I did was I ended up printing the two on separate sheets of paper and um, fussy cutting around them. And then I was just saying to you about how I would need to overlay. So I was going to have to cut the border from around a couple of the photos just so that when I put them together, you only had one thickness of border rather than two. So this is me absolutely nerve wracking. This was to do because I'm not really good at judging, you know, with the scissors and that. And I'm even worse with the trimmer. I'm dreadful. Um, so I was like, as I did it so yeah and it was just like oh my god oh my god it didn't meet it didn't meet <laughs> and that's the thing it's getting the two lines to meet when you cut so yeah there we go and then I was like yay look at that that doesn't look too bad at all it needed a little bit extra and I couldn't get that tiny tiny little extra bit off and I thought oh you know oh maybe I'll try it with a craft knife <laughs> and then I was like I'm gonna fuck this up and oh my head got in the way anyway so you didn't say as it turned out, I didn't manage to actually cut off that little extra bit and I thought, do you know what, sod it, I'm just going to overlay it, overlap the two pictures. <laughs> and then I was going to stick it on and then I thought, oh, hang on, I better do my drawings and that and get them in so that if I make a mess or splatter paint or something, it won't matter, she says. <laughs> <clears throat> So the prompts for Friday were E.T. and a coconut. So um, I sat watching Superman last night and um, sketched out E.T.'s hand. Because I figured uh, there's no way in hell I would be able to draw the entire alien um, as cute as he is. So I always think when, when I think of E.T. I always think of that bit where he goes, ouch, like that. Elliot. <laughs> so that was what I wanted to draw and um, it was also on the cover of the, the film box wasn't it so you know yeah and then the prompt for today oh pardon me was jelly shoes bloody jelly shoes do you remember them horrible plastic things my friend loaned me hers when we were kids so that I could try them and um they ripped my feet to shreds, absolutely ripped them to shreds. There was blood, of course I got sand and seawater and oh man, it was, it was messy, really, really messy. Um, yeah, and I remember when, um, when my daughter was young, Callie, she wanted a pair and I refused point blank. I was like, no, not getting them. So, and they're actually, they're really, really hard to draw. Um, I'm, I'm not that skilled, you know, I've told you often before, I can't draw out of my head, it's it's copy or nothing, basically. And um, basically with jelly shoes, because you see all of it, everything, the inside, the outside, and I actually found that really, really hard. The only bit you basically didn't draw through was the buckle. And uh, God, they were horrible things, weren't they? <laughs> So there you go. Uh, 
I don't remember the heeled ones when I was a kid. I think they came out later, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure my daughter's friend had a pair. But same heads in the way again. Oh. And then I realised I hadn't drawn like the remainder of the buckle, the strap that goes through the buckle. And I was like, oh no, crap, I've got to draw that now. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I suppose it doesn't look too bad. But I should have waited literally maybe 30 seconds more before rubbing out on the on the raisin on the jelly sheet because where I'd drawn the bit through the buckle it did actually smear ever so slightly which I was a bit cross about um, if I'd waited maybe just another 30 seconds it'd have probably been fine but you know and erasing on Tomoe paper is is quite difficult because it's so so thin that you can probably tear it quite easily I know I've creased a couple of pages here and there So I get my Jane Davenport paints out because there's a really, really nice grey in there which I thought would do great for E.T.'s arm. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm awaiting two more palettes, the other two um, mini palettes of Jane Davenport's. So quite excited. And I was really, really cu curious to see how the paper would perform as there's fountain pen ink on the other side. And normally when I paint over all the last booklet I did, if I painted, um, the ink would feather on the other side, but uh, it, this actually copes really really well and I, I use quite a lot of water. Just getting the finger all done. I'm going to colour in the jelly shoes. And jelly shoes are, for those of you that don't know, jelly shoes are like plastic shoes basically. Um, they're, they're very bendy, rubbery and they're horrible. Um, and they they were usually clear when I was a kid but um, nowadays you can get them in a variety of, of colours but it's, they're still transparent, you can still see through them. Um, so I chose uh, the Sea Breeze just to give it a hint of colour. It was awful as well trying to remember which bits were sort of solid and, and which bits weren't. It, it, it's amazing how hard that was to draw, I can't believe it. I was just checking here because um, around this time it was just gone half past one and I was wondering where my son was because like I said he's at this interview and he normally streams on a Saturday afternoon and I didn't know what time to expect him back so I was, I was using find my friends to locate him and he's still at the job. He's gone in for like a little trial thing but he has no idea how long it's going to go on for. So um, yeah. I'm sort of eagerly awaiting his return and it is now 2.40 and he still hasn't returned so fingers crossed. 
So um, I used the very, very light blue in the pastel Prima paints to um, just put a little bit of colour there. And then once that's dried, I wanted to put um, the sparkly paint over it. So, yeah, he's still, still there. Ooh, this is good, this is good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, real. Oh. I really hope he gets the job, I really do. And I really hope it's all year as well. Oh, well, as I said earlier on, one of the things I always, always linked with E.T. was the fact that um, he would say, ouch. When he does the glowy finger, he goes, ouch. So yeah, I just, I had to add that in. You know. <laughs> so um, then it was like, oh well, where am I gonna, where am I gonna put this? Where am I gonna put the words? Because I originally wanted to put the photos there. Oh, excuse me. Um, because a lot of them were taken last night, and then some were taken this morning. So you know, it didn't really matter where. So the prompt was drive my car and again I almost forgot to write in the um, the band and then I remembered oh hang on I haven't done that of course that was the Beatles <coughs> excuse me I like how that came out actually, that looks quite, quite good. So, um, I Get Around by the Beach Boys. I can get around, I get around, get around. Ooh. So, I won't do that again, sorry. <laughs> just quickly add that in I actually should have made this video a wee bit faster it's a bit slow but oh look see I can see my hair sticking out the bottom of the screen look at it oh god I think the problem the problem is is because my camera is so high you know, my, my camera is a good foot or so above my head. And I just, before it used to be quite low down and I was more aware of it. But I think because it's above me, I lean into it without realizing. Whereas before I would have to lean to sort of see around it. But I don't want to lower it because I quite often do my Fitbit stepping in here. And um, when it's lower, I can't see, I can't see the screen. <laughs> So yeah, just before I start my photos down, I realised that, oh, I haven't done the other prompt for Friday, which was coconuts. Even though I sketched it in, I just didn't see it after that. So um, I quickly sketched those in and added the paints. Hi, YouTube. And we're being interrupted yet again. Yes, darling, what do you want? I'm saying hi to YouTube. Oh, you're supposed to be watching your film. Mm -hmm. Got cold, didn't you? Snotty. Mm. Yeah. It's cough. You got a cough as well. Oh, poor baby. You've been licking at your lips because you've made your mouth all sore. You've got to stop doing that. So then I was struck with the challenge of, well, how the hell am I going to make the inside of the coconut look 3D? Because <coughs> I don't, you know, I've never taken any classes, so I, do, I don't know. I do have a cough. Oh, yeah, I know. Can you go watch your film for me, please, so that I can talk about it? No, because that's my timetable. Can I have yours? No. It's mine. Go on, shoo. Go on, off you go. See you in a minute, Mum. Okie dokie. So I used the white from the Jane Davenport set 
and then I used a very, very and I, I laid it down quite heavy with quite a lot of water and then I used the Dove Grey and just very very lightly added it in the middle. I've no idea if that's how you do it, I know you're not supposed to blend on the paper um, but I just uh, I couldn't think of any other way to do it and that, that was the best I could come up with and then I thought it's a bit dark so I went over it again with the white I, I don't know if that's the way to do it. I keep saying to my daughter, we need to sign up for Skillshare and have a go at that. You know, I'll take art classes and she wants to do different kind of art as well. So then I added some of the white gold sparkly paint from the um, Starry Nights palette just to add some shimmer to the glow on the end of E.T.'s finger. To the ouch. And then I sort of like, mm, where am I going to stick these? And I realised that it would be crashing into the coconuts or I'd have to do them at an angle. So I thought, mm, I'll do them over on the other side. And I thought over that side. Mm, yes. And then I had them around the wrong way because I'm a klutz. <clears throat> so I originally, then I thought, no, we'll go over here. Um, the first backing I managed to pick off semi-reasonably quickly. <laughs> Um, and I stuck that down. I just leant over it slightly so that I could get it as straight as possible. And then the second one, I just could get the backing off the second one. I do have a lot of trouble with it a lot of the time. Um, so I'll get my pokey tool in a minute. And yeah, I literally hold the paper and the backing between my and just push with the edge of the pokey tool. And it finds it every single time. I've been very lucky so far. It hasn't damaged a photograph. I don't know how I do it. And then I just lined them up as evenly as possible so that the white border of the lower set of pictures matched up with the edge of the upper set of pictures. And there you go. And then I showed you actually how much paper I wasted because I could only print one lot up on the sprocket. But, um, you know, it, I, I just... I thought it would look good and I did it for a bit of a giggle. I wouldn't do this again a lot because it is a waste of paper. And when you think that um, these these sheets of paper are going at 50p each because it's £10 for a sheet of 20, then um, that could get quite expensive doing it that way. But saying that, for a pound, I've just printed up 14 photos. Which, you know, that's actually not too bad, is it? I'm, I'm not too... I'm not too upset by that. So, you know, maybe I will do it again. Who knows? But there are so many different collages that I could use on Pick Stitch as well. So I'm going to have a play with some of them and, you know. So I thought I'll just add the day in and I'll get this page all ready because what I will do now is upload to Instagram just to say that the video is on its way because that's what I do. So here's me putting it in focus. Just so I can show you and I just I was a bit bummed because I couldn't get the glitter of the ouch to show up um, but yeah there's my little collage I think that looks really cool I'm really really pleased with that I love it um, it all turned out a little bit better than I was expecting it to so you know I can't complain about that can I really <clears throat> and then I thought well you know I'm not going to be doing a lot of journaling today and I always forget every single year what May the 4th is. So I added it in. And my face is in the shot yet again. <laughs> God. Oh, I don't know what to do about that. My concentration, look. <laughs> oh dear.
So there you go. Happy Star Wars Day. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how that spread turned out and I hope you like it. <laughs> um, uh, this is just me saying there will not be an evening edition because I've pretty much done everything except maybe mocked off a few bits. So I'll go off and do my cleaning and get all that done. Um, you know the rules. Leave me a comment because we love comments and all of that lot. Um, thumbs up, comments click the book you'll be subscribed yes, hit the bell do. you'll be notified we like comments don't yes, we and click that bell in the and say bye, bye.